the simple pleasures in life is black coffee in the morning. That's what I that's the way I like it. And enjoy it. Uh, no cream, no sugar. I, occasionally I like some really thick, real cream in coffee. But for the most part, just some black coffee in the morning. Now, coffee as a soil amendment, turning a waste stream into a resource, stacking functions, right? I've obviously enjoying the cup of coffee. And now I can take those spent coffee grounds and utilize them. You can obviously utilize them in a compost pile. And um, they're, they're, it's a great nitrogen source, right? So compost piles are all about carbon and nitrogen ratios and all that. Coffee grounds are excellent to add to that. They um, are at about a 20 to one ratio of carbon to nitrogen. So they're really good for a compost pile. But what I wanna talk about today is using them as a soil amendment. Now, if you didn't catch my last video on using wood ash as a soil amendment, it's another great uh, thing to use, right? So instead of throwing these things away, ending up at landfills, etc., we can use them in our gardens. Now, one caution with coffee grounds is I would not use them as a thick layer, okay? So as a mulch, for example, they can create this kind of crusty, impermeable layer where, where water can't get through. So again, sparingly using them. Um, if you're going to do any large scale collection of coffee grounds, like for example, you're going to go to coffee shops and try and collect grounds, that's great. And there's ways to do that. But what I'm really talking about is the, the home grower, the homesteaders use of coffee grounds. And um, that's just kind of sparing, sparing use. So let me show you what we're going to do uh, with coffee grounds and how we use them. And first, let's talk about the the NPK values of coffee grounds. Okay, so as wood ash was had had really no nitrogen in it, it had very little phosphorus and it had a higher percentage of potassium. Coffee grounds are flipped, and so they actually make a good complement to that, and they are a little bit higher in nitrogen, about two. Okay, and then in phosphorus, very low, and then in potassium, very low, or at about 0.3, so less than one on each one of those. So it would be a 2.3, 0.3, as far as coffee grounds. You know, of course, all coffee grounds are probably gonna be a little bit different, but again, right, we're, we're, we're home homesteaders, home gardeners. Using these on our, we don't need to be so precise. We just make sure that one, we're doing no harm, and two, that we're, we're benefiting our plants and our soils. Another great use or another great um, uh, uh, function of coffee grounds in your soil is they help feed microbes. They help feed all of that biology that's kicking in the soil, right? So it, it would be great for um, worm bins as well and anything like that. Okay, so let's get going on adding some coffee grounds into our soils. All right, well, so when it comes to actually applying coffee grounds there's a couple of uh, uh, recommendations one is that you can kind of pull back any mulches you may have and then and then put the coffee grounds on the soil and then recover with the the mulch okay that's one way to do it again i, I like very simple and easy um, and i just like to spread it on right and i, I realize that it's probably better to put it underneath the mulch um, but I don't want to do that because I've got a lot of like successional type plants coming up. I don't want to disturb them. Okay, so I'm just going to toss it on and then let, you know, let it when when there's watering or whatever. We got a good rain last night um, th that, uh, that that would take care of it, right? It's just going to it's going to get in there. This is organic matter that is that is um, uh, again seeding, feeding soil microbes, uh, feeding plants, and uh, you know, doing good stuff. But I do not take this on. I do not put this on very thick. So here's another one of our little beds there. Little, uh, um, with again, a bunch of plants coming up successionally. Of course, this could be used on vegetable gardens. This could be used on perennial gardens, flower beds. You name it, fruit trees, nut trees. I don't think you're gonna harm anything. And again, using it at this level, this small amount, 
you're not going to significantly change any type of pH levels, right? And the good news is, is about coffee grounds is they're right there in that sweet spot where most plants do just fine, right there in the middle sixes, okay, six, six to six point eight, and of course, again, there's probably variability among those things, but all good, all good. So again, utilizing coffee grounds is another way to function stack another way to turn a waste stream into a resource and just a good thing to, to do uh and, and even if if you don't want to use it very specifically or if you don't want it then add it to a compost pile and it does great for that as well all right there you go coffee grounds